Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So for today's video I'm going to talk about why the Fifth Doctor is actually one of my favourites. I'm doing this because I often see a lot of fans rank him and his era as their least favourite. And whilst everyone is obviously entitled to their own opinion, it's something that I've never really understood myself. I actually really like the Fifth Doctor and his era. He's a Doctor that I would rank pretty highly among all the Doctors, either in my top 5 or just outside it in fact. The main reason why is because I love how much of a breath of fresh air he is when compared to his four predecessors. Each of the first four Doctors tended to have somewhat larger than life personas, and were often reasonably in control of whatever situation they were thrown into, to varying degrees. Yeah sure, not everyone often listened to second, third and fourth Doctors until it was too late, but they were all still reasonably confident and sure of their own ability to defeat a threat, especially the latter two. But the fifth Doctor is the first Doctor to break this trend. He hasn't really got this big, confident personality. He's got this aura of being much softer and more hesitant in a way. The Fifth Doctor goes through a lot of difficult and challenging situations, where he very quickly and dramatically loses control. Think of the circumstances leading to Adric's death in Earthshock, or the events of the Caves of Androzani, which result in the Fifth Doctor's own death. He's also the first one to truly consider the consequences of his actions. You can tell at the end of Warriors of the Deep how much he regrets what happens to the Silurians and Sea Devils, leading him to famously say, There should have been another way. In this way, he helped to inspire some of the new series Doctors, such as the Ninth and Tenth Doctors and their attitude towards the Time War. The Fifth Doctor is also the first to suffer through a truly traumatic regeneration, something which has become a little more common ever since. All of the struggles that he goes through makes him one of the most relatable Doctors for me. I think the show's then producer John Nathan Turner was right to go with a younger actor with the Fifth Doctor. It helps to add something to the Doctor's overall character, as well as to set the ball rolling with the idea that anybody could play the Doctor. As much as I love the first four Doctors, the fifth really stands out as a really intriguing and interesting incarnation. He's the first Doctor that didn't always have everything go his way. He was the first Doctor to be vulnerable and fallible. He was the first Doctor to be almost human in a way. Plus, his era was actually pretty good for the most part. Sure, Season 20 could have maybe been a little better, depending on your opinion of it, but Seasons 19 and 21 were arguably some of the best the shows ever had. Stories like Earthshock, The Five Doctors, Resurrection of the Daleks and The Caves of Androzani have all become some of the most well-regarded stories of all time among fans. Not bad for a Doctor that some fans still probably think is nothing but a wet vet. But anyway, so there's why I like the Fifth Doctor. But what did you think? Is the Fifth Doctor one of your favourites or not? And where would you rank him? Please let me know in the comments section below. Anyway, so thanks for watching, hope you liked it. Please don't forget to press that subscribe button below, as well as press the bell icon at the side of it, so that you'll stay notified of when all my new videos come out. Also, please rate, and I shall see you all in another video. So, until next time, bye-bye!